we do unhappiness to express we don't want it as if there's a gain from saying, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it, as versus, what do you want? Beneath every not want is a want. Beneath every not want is a want. And it serves us much more usefully if we convert every not want is into a want. So I don't want you to talk to me like that. That's a not want. I would really appreciate if you talk to me in a gentle, soft, and loving way. I don't want you to throw your coat on the floor so I have to pick it up. I would love, now convert it into one, I would love if you would hang your coat up when you come into the house. So you can take every not want that you have you will be a thousand times more perfect, uh, more effective if you turn that not want into a want for two points of view. The not want tends to be to freeze ourselves in the unhappiness category. And it also is a problematic communication issue. I don't want you to talk to me with anger. Whatever I've just done, I just spotlighted anger. And I'm just communicating the word anger over again, or I'm communicating and describing it. I'd like you to talk to me peacefully or kindly or whatever. So if we convert every not want into a want and express it as a want, we'll communicate more effectively and we'll probably get a bit more effective, not necessarily, at getting more of what we want rather than trying to limit what we don't want.